September 5, 2022, Monday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time, Saint of the Day, Saint Teresa of Calcutta. Today's readings. First reading. A reading from the first letter to the Corinthians. It is widely reported that there is sexual immorality among you, immorality of a kind that is not found even among Gentiles, that one of you is living with his stepmother. And you so feel with your own self-importance. It would have been better if you had been grieving bitterly so that the man who has done this thing were turned out of the community. For my part, however distant I am physically, I am present in spirit and have already condemned the man who behaved in this way, just as though I were present in person. When you have gathered together in the name of our Lord Jesus, with the presence of my spirit and in the power of our Lord Jesus, hand such a man over to Satan to be destroyed as far as natural life is concerned, so that on the day of the Lord his spirit may be saved. Your self-satisfaction is ill-founded. Do you not realize that only a little yeast leavens the whole batch of dough? Throw out the old yeast so that you can be the fresh dough, unleavened as you are, for our Passover has been sacrificed. That is Christ. Let us keep the feast then with none of the old yeast and no leavening of evil and wickedness, but only the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Lead me in your justice, Lord. For you, O Lord, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. You hate all evildoers. Lead me in your justice, Lord. You destroy all who speak falsehood, the bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lead me in your justice, Lord. But let all who take refuge in you be glad and exalt forever. Protect them, that you may be the joy of those who love your name. Lead me in your justice, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Now on another Sabbath, he went into the synagogue and began to teach. And a man was present, and his right hand was withered. The scribes and the Pharisees were watching him to see if he would cure somebody on the Sabbath, hoping to find something to charge him with. But he knew their thoughts, and he said to the man with a withered hand, Get up and stand out in the middle. And he came forward and stood there. Then Jesus said to them, I put it to you, is it permitted on the Sabbath to do good or to do evil, to save life or to destroy it? Then he looked round at them all and said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He did so, and his hand was restored. But they were furious and began to discuss the best way of dealing with Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Reflection 
Today's Gospel shows uh, Jesus' disapproval of those who focus narrowly on the traditions and laws of religion, that they lose sight of God's message. Jesus challenges the legalistic way of keeping the Sabbath holy by asking, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath rather than to do evil? To save life rather than to destroy it? By showing compassion to the man with a withered hand, Jesus points us to a way of holiness that is more than keeping the law and performing rituals. By healing the man, Jesus teaches us to respond to God's call to do good and save lives. Traditions should not interfere with our compassion for those in need. For whoever knows what is right to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin.